Welcome back to Living Free Forever. My name's Melody. Today I want to talk about fear, fear of the unknown, fear of starting something new, fear of maybe moving, starting a new job, or whatever it is in your life that you're afraid to do. So sometimes that kind of holds us back and then we end up paralyzed and we don't want to do anything. The older I get, the less fear I have because I've been through all of these different new things in our lives and I say to myself why was I so afraid in the past and it just because I think with experience we learn that nothing really bad's gonna happen if you try something new especially if you plan many of you who are older than me I think you're getting the hang of things and you probably can agree that as long as you're planning and being careful but moving forward Everything's going to work out, as my father would say, one way or the other. <laughs> Many of you are moving to Florida, thinking about moving to Florida. And I'm not saying Florida is going to change your life and starting over in Florida is going to be like some magic <laughs> trip or something. It's not. If you are not resolving your issues where you are now, you're just going to bring them down with you and then you're going to say, I hate Florida. I want to make sure that before anybody moves anywhere, that you please plan very carefully. If you're young, I would highly recommend that you go to college. Go to college. <laughs> you don't know what you want to do. That's okay. At least get your first two years done, your associates, because those first two years will transfer over to a four year. And of course, you're not going to know what you want to do when you're young. Some people do, but others you don't know, and that's okay. That's why you go to school to learn. Because some people might think, oh my God, I can't go to school. I don't know anything. Well, that's what school is for. And not only just to learn something, but it opens your mind by meeting new people. And by taking these courses, you'll know, I really hate this, <laughs> but I kind of like this. And I really, really like this. So it kind of gives you ideas about what you want to do. It doesn't mean you have to be one thing in your life forever. I think life is meant to experience it to the fullest, but without money, it can be very difficult. It could be stressful. I know some people might say money's the root of all evil. I don't believe it. <laughs> I do feel that money could put a roof over your head, a nicer roof than if you didn't have money, food in your belly without having to worry about getting subsidized. You want to take care of yourself, maybe to help others. It also helps get you better health insurance. Uh, it helps get you better medication if you really need it. If you have some autoimmune disorder or something, cancer, that you'll have the money to pay for the treatments that you need. If you, if you want to buy better food so you can be healthier. If you want to travel, that you have the money to do so. If you want to move because you don't like where you are, you could do it. It's very difficult to make money and so easy to spend it. So I think it's something that people have been trying to figure out forever. And some people are natural entrepreneurs and they just know what to do. It could make money since they were five years old. But there's others who are not. And uh, if you don't want to go to college, uh, at least go into skilled trades. Skilled trades can make you some good money. I know today's video is not about what you should do in life as far as making money, but money is really important <laughs> uh, as far as what it can allow you to do in life. For example, moving to Florida if you want to, because I'd hate for you to come down here and you're living in some moldy, cockroach infested, bad neighborhood, high crime. I don't want that for you and you don't want that for you or your family. I highly recommend, again, that you figure out a way that you're gonna make some money before you move because where you are now, you know where everything is, what's what. Uh, educate yourself online if that's what you wanna do. Some people make a lot of money selling on eBay, Amazon, affiliate programs, it's all online, but you have to educate yourself. It's, there's no quick, uh, rich way of making money. There just isn't. I don't want to give bad news to people, but there just isn't. If there is, please tell me. <laughs> I'd like to know, but I haven't found one in all my years that's just um, easy. It took always a lot of uh, research for me to figure out what to do, how to do it, and it's not something I could explain to anybody in a video. 
But I'm telling you, there's ways to make more money, even if it's two jobs and temporarily. I'm not saying, you know, you work day and night, day and night, and then you die at 65 because I don't like the idea that people are working their butts off until they're 65 and then they're too old or too sick to do any traveling and all of those dreams that they had, they can't do them now. And if you are at that age, really think about what you can do. If it's to sell everything you own in your house, do it. If that's what you want to do in order to do something else. If you're happy where you are, then then you're all set, then you don't have to worry about anything. But sometimes we want to do something new, but we're holding on to all this stuff that's weighing us down. And I've made all kinds of videos about decluttering, minimalizing. So go watch that playlist because I can't tell you how important it is and how important it has been for us to downsize and to get rid of stuff. I've never felt more free in my life. As far as fear, let's go back to that about say moving to Florida as an example. If you got all your ducks in a row there's and you have cash, when you move, you're not going to be um, just like lost because anything you need, you could buy or fix or take care of usually with cash. If you already have your education and, and you're, but you don't quite have a job because it's difficult sometimes, sometimes to get a job from wherever you are and then trying to come here because often employers want you to be here already. If you know you're skilled or educated, you will come down and find a job somewhere. And that's why I'm saying it's don't buy a house right away because you might think you're going to come to Tampa and then you find a job in Miami or Jacksonville or Orlando or, or Naples or Sarasota or somewhere else. So that's why I was saying try Airbnb if you just want to come down and stay someplace for a month or a hotel if you're single or whatever it is that you want to do stay for a month in a hotel and that or airbnb and go into these apartments that you want to stay in or if you really want to buy a house and say you found your job and you really want to buy a house you could easily stay in an airbnb for at least a month at a time and if i know in spain we say three months but we had to get special permission because they usually only want one month at a time but let's just say you can only stay one month in one place. Well, you just find another place and stay for another month and then you could just move into your home. So that's the great flexibility of hotels or Airbnb or something like that if you don't want to rent an apartment. Because when you rent an apartment, there is first month, last month, a deposit. You have to stay for like six, seven, eight months. The longer, the full year is the cheapest amount, but maybe you don't want to stay an apartment for the full year. There's options. You just have to be okay with being flexible. That's the other really big thing I think is to be really, really flexible when moving or making a decision on something because sometimes you're like, well, I will only take this job only <laughs> and I will only live here in this little block right here and I will only whatever, X, Y, Z. If you're more flexible in this world, it just makes life more pleasant. And I also find that your perception and how you perceive things around you will make a big difference in your life. And if you're afraid or not afraid or happy or not happy, uh, because we're going to live from point A to point B, right? however long that is. You could be happy, you could be sad, you could be scared, you could be not scared. You get to choose. And I know some of you are like, well, I can't choose my emotions. <laughs> I know what you mean. But at the same time, you have to try to just focus, just tell yourself that it's going to be okay. I'm prepared. I've got this cash here. I'm going to be flexible. Maybe I'll take a different job that I didn't want for a little while. Maybe I'll move over here where I really didn't want to at first, but then I can always move again next year. Unless, of course, you bought yourself a house and then you're kind of stuck <laughs> where you are for a little while. Again, flexibility is very important and how you perceive things because you might as well be happy. You might as well not be afraid. So you can work on that. And there's a lot of books 
videos on YouTube you could watch for inspiration, motivation to help you because trust me, <laughs> I've been there, you know, just a little like, like, I don't know what to do right now. And you know what helps me? This sounds crazy, but whenever I feel like I'm not sure what I want to do next or I have too many choices and they're all like good choices and I'm like, what should I do? Uh, I start decluttering. <laughs> I've decluttered so much that I don't have much left, but it really just helps to clean, organize. It does something up here where it makes you calm down and it makes you start thinking what those options can be and then you go to sleep and then your dreams help you out a little bit and you sleep on it i really do think sleeping on things help and give yourself some time don't panic if you don't know what it is that you want to do exactly it's like for for us right now i don't know what our future has in store for us both kids are in school they'll be done in a few years and then rick and i have to decide exactly what we want to do or maybe not <laughs> i know we want to travel so we're going to keep doing that do i want to buy a house i'm not leaning towards it but who knows maybe if i find one at a super duper deal might buy it but you know i don't know and i'm not going to worry about it because i'm enjoying right now and that's what we all should be doing is enjoying right now enjoy the process because we're always going to have that future dream that future goal that we're you know working towards and you get there and you're like well now what i'm here well enjoy it enjoy it and you will have more dreams and goals after that and that's okay once you get there i know some of you had worried about you feel like you're taking a step back by moving and starting over a new job starting over at a new community don't feel like you're just stepping back you're moving forward to something that you want and not what everybody else on this planet wants you to do. It's what you want to do and you're moving forward and starting over is not going back. I think we're always moving forward one way or the other and we need to find what's good for us. But I do worry that some folks are not um, taking the time to do their research and I wanna make sure that you are because I really actually care, believe it or not, about you even if we don't know each other i see people who struggle and they make uh, one mistake after another i don't want to call them mistakes but but they're they're doing things in their lives that stop them from moving forward towards their goals and i hate to see that happen to anybody here watching this channel because i'm telling you the future is bright if you let it be there's lots of good luck out there if you create it yourself. It just doesn't come knocking at your door. Not usually. <laughs> I've been waiting for 50, almost 52 years for luck to knock at my door. It doesn't happen. I have to go out and work and research and um, create my own luck. And I actually did a video on that while I was in Ireland because I was thinking about the luck of the Irish and how we cre do create our own luck by putting ourselves in a position um, to be in places we want to be doing the things we want to be doing and being with the people that we want to be with if you have any questions please comment below remember you are in charge of your own destiny you you could decide what you're going to do well that's all i have for today i just wanted to chit chat a little bit with you about that if you're watching this live comment on the side and if you're watching after uh, the live uh, chat comment below i want to hear from you i want to hear what your thoughts are what you're thinking what are you afraid of what would you like to do if you have any other worries or questions because your questions are the same ones that almost everybody else has so don't feel like, oh, that's a stupid question, because it's not. Didn't your teachers tell you that in school? There's no stupid questions. There's no dumb questions. They're all good questions, because we all have the same question. <laughs> and it helps when you comment and you ask, because everybody else is reading, and a lot of people are shy, so they won't comment about it. But you're really helping people when you share your thoughts um, on this channel. And I really enjoy having all of you here uh especially when the same people start coming back you know we get to know each other 
and uh, I think that's really cool. So thanks for watching as always. Thumbs up, please share, don't forget to subscribe, and most importantly, don't forget to live a passionate life.